You ever read something and the first thing that comes to mind is why do you have to be so loud because it's pertaining to me and I feel attacked? Yeah, that's what a heart check is when it comes to money. And trust me, I feel attacked. I'm gonna feel just like you. I will feel attacked. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish and I won. What's up everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ, aka TJ2, Swish Chains, I'm wearing none. I, I worked out this morning when I'm filming this, so uh, I might go lay out, just get some me time, just chill out. It's too hot to move around, so I really will just lay there and try to get some sun because we know um, I have a cover-up appointment on Saturday, which means uh, pretty much no direct sun after that for a little bit. But thank you for tuning into this video. If you're brand new and like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Um, if not, if you have not already checked out my Fear of God uh, Essentials, the Spring and Summer 2020 unboxing, I got four pieces, so they're all hanging up behind me. Uh, make sure you check that out, okay? And please let me know, have you ventured into Fear of God Essentials? If not, do you plan to pick up anything? Now, they did this drop since, had another drop. I think around later on in a few weeks, we will see another drop. It's considered drop two. Now, from that, uh, I actually do want shorts, but we'll see what happens. I have so much on my plate. I don't even know how to tell you guys. I'm trying to do a custom project. Well, a few custom projects. So uh, if I can get those underway and get those out to you this month, in addition to everything else, whew, it'll, be, it'll be a lot. But we're still talking about, or I'm still referencing, uh, The Financial Diet by Chelsea Fagan. If you haven't read that, I suggest you read it, okay? Um, I, I like the way that she presents a lot of things, okay? So we know that we are still talking about the don't you effing dares. And then uh, another point she makes in the book are hard checks, right? There are hard checks you should, you know, make to yourself, have with yourself. Just check yourself sometimes, right? Have you ever, yeah, I mean, listen, I've had my parent literally look at me and go, you better check yourself, okay? So, uh, you know, they say, check your attitude at the door. Okay, well, sometimes you have to hard check yourself with money because here's the difficult aspect of money. When you can, when you're able to, the question then becomes, should you? Right, so sometimes you have to check yourself just to see, are you going a little bit overboard? Now, sometimes I think it's warranted. So listen, live life. We don't just live to only take care of the needs, okay? I think want should, should definitely be factored in there as well. You guys know I'm a big proponent of that. In my budgeting ebook, it stands for, you know, it's set. It stands for save extra debt payments and treat yourself. So the T is important. But some hard checks. Now here are just some things, again, these are just self-assessments. They're really, they're, they're, this is just for you, okay? You don't have to sound off in the comments. This is just for you. But one of them, one of the hard checks, have you made any impulsive purchases in the last month? Whoo, child, let me just, where, where do we start in the month of June? If we look back, where do we start? Uh, the New Balance shirts, those were certainly impulsive buys. I, I didn't have those on my radar at all for 2020 to pick up New Balance shirts. Uh, I found that New Balance outlet. And I think if you guys didn't watch King Tweezy's video, he picked up quite a few items from there as well. So yes, the New Balance shirts were certainly impulsive buys. Um, this project, there's a project I'm doing that I will show you guys soon. I guess you could kind of consider it impulsive, even though I had to still plan it out. I don't know if you would still consider that impulsive, but um, again, it wasn't on my plan to do this summer, so some could argue it's impulsive. Um, I have a sneaker pickup to show you soon, depending on how fast Champs delivers. Um, if they're taking a minute, that could not occur until later on this month, but hopefully it's soon within the next week or so. But that's kind of an impulsive buy simply because there were shoes I missed a while back and I wanna go back and get those. So, or just get something similar, let's put it that way. So I have that on the way and a hoodie from Champs. Um, yeah, so impulsive buys, yeah, I'm, I'm guilty. Like I, I don't want people to ever think when they're watching me, hey, you do every, you know, you, you, you were by the book and by the letter, dude. I listen there are certain things I'm human I do certain things as well okay 
And it's not to say that it's bad or good. I just think you have to know where you stand. Be aware of where you are, right? You should never jeopardize needs for wants. Impulsive buys doesn't matter, okay? I think it's awesome when people just on a whim, they call up their best friends and they're like, hey, you wanna go somewhere? And they just take a weekend trip or they just go travel somewhere. I think that's awesome. That's impulsive, but as long as they have everything under control, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, so sometimes those impulsive buys bring you the most joy and it can be something very, very little. Another impulsive buy was that H&M, right, shirt. Uh, was they, I bought two shirts. The first time, the first go round, each was only $7. And then the second time, uh, one was on sale again for $3.99. So that's considered an impulsive buy, but I will not apologize for that shirt at all. So it's okay to give a hard check to yourself sometimes, not like in hockey. Okay. Those are painful, but it's okay to give a hard check to yourself. Um, just so you're aware, right? What, what am I doing with my money? Um, now if you're complaining that there are other things you can't do, okay, maybe that hard check is a little more necessary because maybe this next month looking ahead, you don't focus on impulsive buys. Listen, I'm doing my best, but I'm going to be honest with you. I got a bid out for a Supreme jacket. Um, I had an employee appreciation coming up, which I'm mostly gifting to other people, but I will certainly be getting some stuff for myself. And I think that's it as of right now. So we'll just cross our fingers. There are no other impulsive buys, all right? Thanks for tuning in. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Also, those shirts are still available for you to pre-order through Friday. Peace out.